Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock with Brick Hall 108. And wow, it's a really big one. So a few moments ago, there were three packages, but then the postman literally just knocked on the door, and now there are four. So we've got two uh, fan sent in packages, and we've got two really big boxes as well to one side, which are very big in size, but um, less exciting in some respects, just because there's some very large pieces in there, like uh, uh, burps and train bases and stuff like that. Uh, but we'll do them after what should be the most exciting ones after all. The one sent from you. So I'm going to do the brand new one that's literally just come out of the hand of the postman. I have no idea how this got here. Maybe you can explain why there's no stamp on it, but there's that. That doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> get into this. There's a lovely letter. I can see that straight away. And a handful of bricks. Lovely. That will be useful. Yep. And what's the letter say? Oh, ooh, ooh. here we go. Dear Robin Hood Bricks, I really love your videos. Maybe you remember me from that email about a GBC billboard I made for my then new city that I was going to work on, which plans have fallen into... Ooh, what's that say? <laughs> Ruins? I don't know, embers? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, when uh, I saw that you read that letter from an 11-year-old in Brick Hall 106, I thought, if he can send you a letter, I can also do it. Your patented hot tea technique... <laughs> is really handy. I tried it and I placed some older misplaced stickers in a better position. Anyway, I wish you some good luck for your channel and enjoy your pieces. And that is from Balka, is that? Or Balk? I don't know how you pronounce that, I'm afraid. Sorry, B-A-U-K-E, it looks like 12 years old. Well, thanks very much for that indeed. That is a wonderful letter to receive. I always like it when people benefit from my little techniques and silly things like that that I do. So that's really good. Uh, and he sent some grey plates and some grey bricks, which I'm sure will definitely be useful under the sea, if nowhere else. Right, so here is another one which has been sent very generously from the United States. This is from San Diego, California. So that's come a very long way. And I think they've had to send... It's at great personal expense and with customs charges and all the rest of it. So I very much appreciate them doing that so I don't have to. Oh, oh, golly, difficult to get into. But then we've got a nice shoebox here. What well, looks like one. And we've got, oh golly, we've got all sorts of things in here. Uh, so let me just throw that away as well. We have a brick head for a start. Oh, uh, is it just a brickhead box? Oh, no, it's just a brickhead's box. I was going to say, I've never had a brickhead's before. Oh, wow. Well, this order is apps order. This gift package, wow, is absolutely rammed full of bricks, right? So there's that. There's this. Oh, wow, this is going to take absolutely ages to go through. All sorts of good stuff. Wow. <laughs> All loose as well. <laughs> Almost the best type of package to get. And I don't think there's a letter in there. Let's see if there is one. Uh, no, I can't find one. Oh, there's that. That's not a letter. That's some instructions. Oh, for the brick head. <laughs> Isn't in there or is in there? Or maybe it is in there. Is that it? Yeah, I think it might have leaked as well. So I think we may have a brick head of Captain Armando Salazar, who is from the Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm thinking. Yep, so that could be that. We've got a key ring with Emmet on it. That's really nice. <laughs> I haven't got any key rings. I want a few stickers as well. Oh, golly, and a, an interesting uh, tile there. Let's see if we can open that gently. Get the... Yeah, it's just one of those ones that you'd use for that big um, shipping sign, but another one, so that's nice to have. What else have we got? Don't know what that is. That's like some sort of armor piece from some barnacle set or something like that. A stairway. Whoa, losing bits. This looks like the sort of grabber arm from some sort of robot. Or maybe it is a robot. Maybe he's got guns. It almost looks like one of those sort of Star Wars droids that sort of rolls down the corridor. I don't know what that is. We'll have to see if there's uh, some clues later on. We've got this, which is in a sticker roll pack, but isn't a sticker roll. It is... Some plates, and that's stuck down as well, but we'll try and get those out. So there we go, some more plates there. Don't think that is Lego, but that's crept in. 
we've got a nice character here. That looks like somebody from Ninjago, probably. Uh, with a beanie hat and a nice torso. That's really good. Got a winch. We've got some food here with some pizzas. A seat cushion. That's not food. Oh, and one of my favourite burger button tops. So that's really good. Fantastic. And a few tiles in there. A tree. A uh, crate. A few of those windows. I could make that tall building even taller. My tall skinny red one against the wall. I'm still tempted to make that wider as well one day, so that's good. Uh, that would give me a head start if I wanted to do that. A cockpit for some sort of uh, spider vehicle. That might be a di bit difficult to use that, and it isn't stickers, so I can't really recycle that. But, yep, you never know. You never know. It's good to have all these things. Some yellow bricks to go and support some of my areas, no doubt. Very interesting. That's got to be barnacle, hasn't it? Piece in sort of marbled blue. Uh, nice aerial there. In neon. Oh, we've got a right bunny collection here. <laughs> we've got some big bunnies and some little bunnies. So we have big brown, big white, and what must be their children, <laughs> two little white ones. Oh, I like those especially. They're really quite sweet. Uh, and I'll be taking the party hats off those, I think, but uh, that's fine. Uh, then we've got one of those crystal pieces in yellow, which is used for sort of french fries. So that's, that's really good. Uh, brick separator. We need those. Uh, that might be the rest of that Salazar character, I presume, because that's a sealed bag. It looks like it, doesn't it? So we can build that later. Oh, here's another little sealed bag that doesn't look like it's from Salazar, but has got some wonderful quarter uh, pizza tiles in. So that's really nice. And a cup and mug and so on. I might be able to work out what that's for. Uh, if you already recognise it, do let me know. It'll save me a bit of time, won't it? A shark? <laughs> I think I've probably got enough sharks from undersea now, but, you know... All good. <laughs> Another minifigure, new and sealed. Oh, and I love that jumper sort of cardigan zip top. That's really good. Oh, and there's a book in there as well, Once Upon a Time. Very nice indeed. I love that hair colour in, what is that, Light Nougat? Yeah, that looks great. A uh, sticker brick. A, what's that, a canoe? Sort of brick built canoe. That looks quite fun. A dog. Another dog for the dog collection. Wonderful. That's one of the really old style ones in reddish brown. I just got one of those, didn't I? So I'll have two now. It's always good when you've got more than one because you can have somebody walking a pair of dogs because lots of people have more than one. We've got window piece, what looks like bits of a satellite and skateboard and speakers. Lots of printed and stickered pieces there. That's really nice. <laughs> a wonderful Fabuland, would that be? Or it's probably just one of the really old sort of uh, basic sets, isn't it? Apple tree piece. <laughs> I'll try and use that. It might be good for a sort of kid's playground or something like that rather than an actual tree. Um, and then we've got this bag as well. Ah, well, we've got an absolute load of these mini mummies. So we can have those as the uh, more prizes in the fairground. Oh, that's really good, actually, because I've only ever really bought one of each. So to have loads, I can give these to people who've already won them and they can just be carrying them around. Uh, so that's really good. I'll get a couple of them out. Oh, these little bags are very tricky. Here we are. Yeah, so they look really good. They're from one of the games. Uh, something to do with Ramesses, Escape from Ramesses or something like that. Yeah, I think they're all the same. Uh, then we've got a bin. Always good to have a trash can, dustbin. Oh, wow, that's good. I've literally just used <laughs> my last ones of these on the um, top of the Daily Bugle. So one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Oh, those are really useful. How did you know? <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Oh, wow, I can use those straight away. Oh, and I think that might be from Salazar as well. Wow, well, what a mixed bag. It's a shame you didn't send a letter, uh, but the package did say it was from James Kelly. Uh, so I'm assuming that's who sent it, uh, or maybe the, the parent of the person who sent it. But thank you very much. It's very generous indeed. Uh, what a wonderful package. Right, I'm going to push all this to uh, a sort of more ordered pile, uh, and then I can get on with the other packages as well. All right, so that was a very generous and crazy order. I've just kind of shoved it back into one big heap for now. Built the minifigures. Found another couple of cool pieces, like this supermarket uh, trolley panel and a snowboard. Very cool. Uh, and then we can get on to our second package. 
which is so huge, I'm just going to sort of open it to the side and pull things out of it, I think, because if I tip it out, we're going to have a right mess on our hands. So this is an absolutely huge sized order, um, but probably doesn't have a huge amount of pieces in it that are small anyway. Um, just a smaller number of really big ones. In fact, wow, they've all been wrapped in paper, it would seem, which is a nice change from plastic, but wow, still a lot of it. So let's see where we're at. Oh no, they're all, they're all jiffy bags. These are padded bags. That doesn't seem very economical at all, especially when they've got one figure in each. Okay, well, I can probably reuse a lot of these, so that's the only good news on that. But here we are. First of all, we have um, the series, uh, well, it's not a series, is it? It's from the uh, Lego Ninjago movie, actually, isn't it? The Sushi Chef. Uh, I've already got this one, but I figure if I'm going to have a sushi restaurant, ooh, spoiler, um, then I should have two of these, really, and just change out the face. But I think they look rather fantastic. He hasn't got his sushi rolls with him or his cleaver, but I'm sure I can sort him out myself. So that's really good. Add him to the heap. Oh, wow, this is going to take all day if we're going to have to go through all these jiffy bags. I just don't understand why somebody would do that unless it was saving them an absolute fortune. Uh, right, well, there we go. There's the Series 7 Hippie, who is an absolutely wonderful minifigure. Love that face, kind of John Lennon vibes. Love the tie-dye top, love the hair. Uh, already got him as well, but yeah, definitely could do with more than one Hippie. So he's very nice as well. And the wonderful thing about the minifigures from this guy, is they're so cheap. The Hippie was 140, which I think is an absolute deal. Uh, the Sushi Chef was 180, which is still pretty good. Oh, do not tell me you've individually wrapped every single burp. There's about 40 in this box. <laughs> this one's come with some free pieces, which is very nice. Uh, and this is actually a burp, but nonetheless, there's dozens of these. I might have to pause this video uh, and actually do all the unwrapping and then show you what was in it, because this is just going to take all day. Okay, I think that's definitely saved us a lot of time because this entire order was wrapped in 33 padded envelopes, which is absolutely bizarre. I don't get it at all. Uh, and when you see how much was actually in those envelopes, you'll just be really surprised at how little it is, really. Each uh, one had basically one thing in. It's crazy. Uh, anyway, so I got quite a lot of cheap pieces from this place, uh, so it probably was still worth it. This base place is damaged, but it was uh, said to be, so that's fine, because once it's covered in tiles, you can't really tell. Uh, so there's two of those. I got two free pieces, which is always good. And then I've got a stack of these, which I think I'll be using around my uh, cargo area uh, and maybe another pedestrianized area or something like that they're the ones I've been using all along my boardwalk and around my marina and so on so we've got six of those they're about a pound each so that's really good value as well uh, some more minifigures I've got some ghosts uh, and I was expecting uh, well the same one twice and I was expecting this one which is a sort of more whaling type ghost it was quite a good value at 280 and that's the one that's been used in monster fighters scooby-doo halloween sets and all sorts uh, like the scooby-doo set 75904 mystery mansion from 2015 uh, and that glows in the dark, which is rather awesome. Apart from this one, has been a little bit gnawed, it looks like. You can see some tooth marks on the side there, and maybe even on the very point of that uh, bit there. Uh, so that's a bit annoying. I might be able to sort of try and uh, burnish those out, but to be honest, there's one that's quite bad there. So at least they're only 280, because usually these go for about a fiver or something, and they are glow in the dark, like I say. Uh, and this one should have been the same, but isn't. Uh, now, this is the more old style that was used on castle sets for generations, pretty much, and time cruiser sets like 6497, Twisted Time Train from 1997. Uh, and yeah, well, I guess I've got variety now because I didn't have any glow-in-the-dark uh, ghosts, and now I have two. And the interesting thing is that if I put my uh, UV torch onto them, you'll see that they actually glow different colours. One's kind of glowing more of a sort of blue colour, and one's sort of glowing more of a greeny colour. Can you see that? Maybe if I bring them a little bit close to the camera, you'll see the one on the left is very bluey sort of glow, very sort of fresh white, almost sort of hospital lighting sort of thing. And then this one is very sort of spooky green. And I think that's probably the better one. <laughs> that's why I wanted two of that one. But the variety is quite fun. So uh, whether I'll uh, uh, use those for a special build in Halloween, I'm not quite sure, but I'll probably get them out for Halloween, of course. So yeah, I think they're all right. They definitely need a clean, <laughs> very grubby. But uh, yeah, a nice variety, at least, for the collection. 
Uh, then moving on to other minifigures, I've got this one, who you may recognize from a more recent set, but this is the older version of Ghost Rider uh, from 76058, Ghost Rider Team Up from 2016. Uh, the current one's got a different head, of course, uh, but still with this sort of flaming hair. I can't remember if they're attached. I think it might be attached. At least I can't get them apart, so I think they might be. So yeah, maybe that's something for Halloween as well. I'm not really <laughs> deliberately buying these for Halloween as such. It's just uh, they were cool minifigures at a good price. Uh, and uh, yeah, the timing was coincidental. But yeah, he's got a really good jacket and chains there. Maybe he could be the leader of one of my bike agains when I finally get rip, uh, round to doing that. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, and again, a very good price. Then we've got Mrs. Scratch and Post from the Lego movie. Very nice pieces there, covered in cat hair, like some of my orders. <laughs> and a sort of curious face. Already got her as well, but that hair piece, I think it's unique to her in that colour. Uh, and I can sort of mix and match all the pieces, of course, and have one sort of cat lady going around the uh, fairground and one, I don't know, the other side of the city. You'd never know. So that's good to have. Then we've got a rock monster, and this one is in the lovely trans neon yellow colour. And let's just check, sometimes these get a lot of wear. This one looks in very good condition, actually, so that's good. The face is all right as well. He's very hungry, though. Look, he's completely empty. Uh, so he's uh, called Sulfurix, uh, and that's the name of this one. And he's in all sorts of uh, poly bags, but only in one set. 8959 Claw Digger, which looks like another one of those awesome uh, power minus sets so yeah i like him i think i've got all of them now all of the ones in this style there are some sort of more after this that are um sort of more pointy headed uh and obviously there's really big monsters as well which i don't have but yeah i just kind of like these guys i think they're pretty cute especially when they've got their kind of hatchet mouth open uh, throwing in uh little gems to eat <laughs> or crystals or whatever they are uh and then this was a part that was actually recommended that i should put on my wanted list and i found well Two of them, so here we are, two of these. Uh, and these are from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, actually, where they're the character Fishface. Uh, and they only came in one set, 79102. Stealth Shell in Pursuit. Nope, me either. Uh, 2013, that was from. And these were, well, without the legs, but the legs kind of make him look a bit like he's constipated in my mind, uh, without the arms. Uh, but that's fine as well, because these were 71p. And I kind of thought that I would camouflage them so only that was visible in my undersea setting because I don't know what he would have a sort of backpack on if he were a genuine fish. But that sort of face, that fish face, uh, coming out of sort of some caves, and maybe there's two of them side by side, <laughs> him and her, <laughs> what a beautiful pair. Um, then basically, I think that would be a really good scene. Just imagine that coming out of some rocks or a little cave. Yeah. Looking good. So I think I should be able to do that. I could even have the tail <laughs> visible as well. Just have the middle section missing pretty much. But there we go. So yeah, anyway, that's something to play with. Pretty cheap, pretty good value. Uh, and then the rest was really sort of bulk stuff that I need for all sorts of builds. One is train wheels, which anyone who buys train wheels will know are quite hard to get in quantity for a good price. And here I've got 13 sets. Uh, and I'm going through them at a rate of knots, doing all my rail carriages for the uh, flying knotsmen and so on. So getting 13 of those for a good price was very, very welcome indeed. Uh, ditto the buffers. I've got two pairs of those. Could have done with a few more, I suppose. But um, anyway, good to get those as well, because I've got plans for cargo carriages as well. But we'll probably take a break from trains just uh, for a little bit after finishing the uh, uh, flying knotsmen, I think. Uh, and then a stack load of burps and merps. So already had one in Dark Town with some free pieces on. I've got one, two, three, four, also with some free pieces uh, in dark bluish grey. So that's really good. Then loads of burps, big ugly rock pieces, two in dark bluish grey, one in light bluish grey, which is a lot harder to get. And then loads in old dark grey, which is probably my favourite colour because it looks the most sort of murky and underwatery to me. So four there. And... Ugh four more here oh you see what i mean so i sort of understand why there was a big box but why there was 33 jiffy bags for all this i don't know uh, and then the last thing i need for my flying knotsman uh, carriages are the well one of these the last six by 28 base to do that last carriage so that's what's been the delay oh, for that one uh, and i got two 
because I did originally need two, but somebody already sent me one, so that kind of has been used first, so I'm going to have a spare. Uh, more cargo, I guess. So that's good. Lay that on there. And then, uh, just because this guy had them, they're quite hard to get, I got some split-level train bases. Now, I have no plans for these, specific plans, at all, but I'm sure I'll come up with them. <laughs> so here's one, and this is a good one. There's two slightly different variations, and one's got two studs here, which I always find useful for mounting steps on. Uh, so that's really good. So it's the better one from my perspective. So I've got whoop, one, two of those, and this one's come with a couple of free pieces as well. Bonus. So there we go, two of those. Big mountain. Uh, and then last but not least from them, I got two used sets of Power Functions lights. Now again, I don't have a plan for these, specific plan, but they're virtually impossible to get hold of now. Now they're no longer for sale by Lego. So I thought I would get these. They're about the same price as they used to be retail, but to be honest, that is now cheap. So it was about three pounds uh, a set. If you try and get them on eBay now, they're probably, well, not available or like £10 or something. So as long as they work, which those do, let's check these ones as well. And they do as well. So given that they work, I'm fine with the price, really. They'll clean up fine. And once they're on the inside of a train or something like that, no one will be any the wiser. So although that package was absolutely bizarrely uh, packaged, uh, I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Right, let's get on to the third and final package. Wow. Well, have you ever seen such a mountain of bricks? <laughs> Unbelievable. And we're not even done. Uh, so the third package was arguably the most urgent uh, in that it was made last Thursday, the order from Bricklink.com, uh, when filming Fairground Fridays uh, last week and running completely out of bricks. And the idea was to get the seller from Bricklink.com who had basically the most uh, good value large bricks. So two by two by three bricks I like, uh, large arches, anything sort of one by six by two or up pretty much. And really, really cheap sort of one by two and two by two bricks for about a penny each or something like that, just to buy an absolute load. Uh, and then obviously while I was there, I sort of bought anything else that was economical. So that's what this third package is. Ugh, this one, <laughs> which I'm going to have to also sort of open to one side and kind of throw into shot. Ah, much more sensible packaging. So here are loads and loads of those used bricks. Uh, and I'll give them all a wash so I can use them hopefully this Fairground Friday, if I've got time this week. Uh, and there are the 2 by 2 by 3 ones. I don't think I'm going to tip all these out. There are some of the large arch pieces I like for supporting all of the... Uh, bright green plates that make up my ground level above my basement level of my fairground where all of the workings are and you can see there there's loads of lime two by two bricks as well they were a penny each absolutely everything in this order uh, pretty much without exception was under five pence per piece for say these bigger ones and these smaller ones were about a penny each so it's absolute bulk and value I wanted and I really wasn't worried at all about color so there we are there is a huge amount of support for the fairground. One by twos, these were a penny each, I remember that. Just in blue, again, doesn't matter. They're basically to support all of those arch pieces that aren't three tall, but they're two tall. And there's a load more of those arches. Loads of different colours. I might keep the grey ones uh, from underneath the sea, or at least I'll use those last anyway. Uh, these purple, oh, I might even keep some brown ones. These purple, oh, I could even use the grey <laughs> tan ones as well. But anyway, definitely the purple ones are going underneath the uh, uh, fair ground anyway. Uh, oh, yep, more, more, more arches. There we go. Pink. Oh, we'll definitely keep the dark grey ones. And what's that, dark orange? Yep, so we've got loads of those. And more. Don't know why they're all in separate bags. More. Yep. You see, this should keep me going for quite a while. Now, these really small ones, they are for under the sea. I got those while I was there. So there's the one by three bricks uh, and the one by four uh, arches as well. So they're good. Then I've got another mixed bag here. So the green slopes are to transition between that top window ledge area uh, where we've got the Ferris wheel in the fairground and the layer that everyone else is on. So that'll help with that sort of reduction in height. Then we've got loads of one by ones. They were a penny each. Uh, loads of these, um, I was thinking it was broken glass pieces, they're not, but that's just because how I last used them uh, in my uh, scene at the Daily Bugle. 
uh, which is not called the Daily Bugle anymore, at the uh, Brick Nottingham Post building. Uh, a few leaf pieces as well. Uh, and these were all very cheap uh, and cost effective. So there we go. All need washing. Then this person, I think, also visited the pick a brick wall because I've got a great bag of leaf pieces, which I think will be useful uh, above ground for trees. Uh, and the, they had a really good price for those and they've even written new on the bag, so I don't need to wash those. So I definitely won't tip them out. And then they had a huge amount of also new. And this is why I think they went to the pick a brick wall because who has this many for this value? I think there were two pennies each or something like that. 200 orange leaves. Now I could use those for a sort of autumn colored um, uh, tree, but I think what I'll do is make something more exotic for under the sea and do some really tall sort of kelp plants with it. I think that'll look really good and bright. So I pretty much can get a uh, sort of bendy um, cable type piece and thread them all over that, kind of like a necklace and make a sort of sort of wafting sort of bendy shaped uh, undersea plant. So that's my theory of those. So it's good that they had those while I was there. Then because I was paranoid that I was going to run out of all these big uh, brick uh, plates rather that make up the ground level for my fairground, I got a stack more of those. So mainly six by 12, a couple of these four by sixes that are missing some of the studs, but you just got to get every shape and uh, shape and plate available basically to help sort of uh, piece together all of the different spaces in between all of the rides. Couple more there, six by six, four by four, some more cheap one penny bricks and few penny bricks for the uh, black ones and some more of those. Don't know why they're separate but that's fine and then this oh no a few more bags i'll come to that one last and that one last so some more arches and i think these white bricks a few of them are just for an upcoming build which i'm not going to tell you about you won't be able to guess it i don't think and then we've got some more interesting pieces as well and these are the ones that i just kind of filled up my um basket with so to speak so I've got some clips and they're for holding fish onto rocks, basically. When I get to my undersea, I think I'll need a load of those. They're a penny each, great value. Uh, a couple of umbrellas just for, I don't know, food vendors really. And loads of these uh, round studs, but with the hole in. And they're really useful for things like those uh, cinematic effects that I was doing with like uh, antimatter's rocket firing or something like that. So I've got both colors because again, they were really cheap as well. Great store, this one. Uh, then some really interesting bits for under the sea. Got another puffer fish, <laughs> which is from the uh, character Puffer, I think he was called, uh, from the set 70611 Water Strider uh, from 2017, I think, from the um, Lego Ninjago movie. So I'll put a medium lavender head in that and just have that sort of floating around the sea. I've already got that... I can't remember if I've got both colours of that because you can get it in orange as well. These shields, which I'm starting to collect now, just a few of, because uh, I got some in one of these gift packages that I'm getting very generously. And I figure if I take the sticks, stickers off them, they could be the sort of almost um, sort of tree limbs of, of undersea plants, if you see what I mean. Sort of like a big flat sort of, um, I don't know, <laughs> new, nutritional leaf type things. Uh, I'm not describing that very well. <laughs> some of these shoe pieces. That's interesting. I've got that once before, but I figure I could use more than one for kind of like a punch bowl with kiwi fruit in it. Um, yes, yeah, so that's nice. That's from 41033, Jungle Falls Rescue from 2014. Uh, under the Sea Plant. Got a couple of these in tan. I've only two, but you know, I can use those for tentacles or some sort of plant under the sea again. I uh, don't know if there's anything else that interesting in there. A couple of grabbers. Couple of one by one uh, round plates there in brown. Oh, and a pink ice cream cone. So, yeah, all interesting little bits there. And then we've got some more pieces, I suspect, from the pick a brick wall, being these, what I think of as grapes. It's kind of an ice cream piece, uh, but in purple. So, it's sort of like a bunch of grapes. So, I can use some of those at my supermarket, maybe, for bunches of grapes for sale. And I can use some as coral, I reckon. Uh, a couple of plant pieces that look good under the sea couple more uh, slopes and they're separate because they're new and last but not least more grabbers more 
jumper plates and a couple of 2x4 tiles in this nice, uh, what would that be? Medium azure? Oh, sorry, medium, <laughs> medium azure, that's blue. <laughs> medium new guy I meant. Uh, color as well, which I'm thinking of using as doormats just outside doors, uh, like somebody's front door or something like that. Uh, yeah, so that's really nice as well. So some interesting parts on that last haul, uh, that last package, uh, that I think are really interesting for Under the Sea. But the main thing is all of this good stuff so we can actually get on with more of the foundations for Fairground Friday. And I'm really looking forward to doing that as well. If I have time this week, this week's getting a bit hectic already. Uh, but wow, what an absolute mountain of bricks. So we have to say thank you to the last sender uh, of the package. We have to say thank you for all these wonderful um train pieces and all the burps and so on, even though they're packaged rather strangely in my mind. We have to say thank you very much to James Kelly in San Diego. Wonderful city. I went there once, really liked it. I stayed at Pacific Beach, which I imagine isn't too far from you. And also a massive thank you to Bauco for the um, lovely letter as well and a few pieces as well. So thank you all for your wonderful contributions to the channel. <laughs> Well, usually I zoom right in at the end uh, just to show a real close-up of all the pieces, but there's so many this time that it really is quite a wide shot. Uh, but yeah, I love all these minifigures. Really looking forward to using all of those and the special pieces. And wow, we've just got so much for projects coming up that I've already told you about, and a few I haven't as well. So anyway, thanks as always for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And if you want your package to appear on a future Brick Hall, then you can send it to the usual address. And uh, I'll look very much forward to opening that as well. Uh, next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be in the fairground, either for another fairground build or hopefully some more... Uh, work on the foundations to get all the rides integrated and built uh, and then Monday well it's new project time since we finished the uh, Brick Nottingham Post building so yeah I'm open to suggestions but whatever we get up to I'm sure we'll have great fun so until then see you <laughs>